What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. We haven't seen the mutant Nick Walker have this variation of abs and thigh shots ever before during his career. The main reason was his waistline. Now that they have put on enough muscle up top and have streamlined his physique, they have successfully created somewhat of an illusion of a smaller waist and Nick seems more and more confident hitting and releasing these shots. This might also be a message to the higher-ups in the IFBB that he does not have a distension problem because he did get some backlash like a week ago in those posing videos where the stomach was getting out of control during the transitions. Nick Walker was 257 pounds five years ago. He is 260 right now, meaning Matt Jensen has increased his food. But he is still on the flat side. There is so much diversity in the open class bodybuilding. 2022 will be such a memorable year. Ian Valier is gonna be as big as Hunter Labrada or Nick Walker if not bigger. And if you look at the last 10 weeks of his prep, he was in such a great shape weeks out of the show. I have no doubt that Ian could have won Chicago Pro that was just a week after Vancouver Pro. But he chose not to compete simply because he wanted to give his absolute best to make his chances of cracking top 5 or 6 or maybe even hire more. That required more time for improvements. The work has been done. Ian thinks he is gonna beat Hunter Labrada, Derek Lensford, and even Nick Walker. And that's what he should believe and say. Nobody enters the show with a losing mindset. With the added size and his grainy conditioning, he might surprise some names in that top 10. Milos has Samson beating Brandon at the upcoming Olympia. And Abdullah said Samson isn't beating Brandon in his dreams. So there is a guru war also going on right now. Nine days out pictures just released by the Nigerian line. What an incredible story Samson has. From struggling to win his first pro show up until Kyo Pro 2021 to being considered the ultimate dark horse for this year's Olympia. We all knew sooner or later his physique will be appreciated. And now is that time. While I do not think he can beat an improved Brendan Carey, I mean the judges clearly don't see it that way. Brendan was not great at the Arnold Classic this year. But let's not forget, he was the winner in the judges' eyes. That's all that matters. So do you guys have Samson in your top 6? The classic physique king Chris Bumstead is looking shredded days out of the Olympia. It is actually unbelievable that despite an underlying health condition that occurred in 2018, Chris continued to improve year after year. The abs are looking crispy and so is the back. He did a great job at bringing up his weak points. The only controversy there is this year is whether actually there is a bicep injury or not. Nonetheless, we all are very excited to see what look he brings under his new coach Honey Rambod. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.